What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Eastside Fishing. I'm here with Mr. Joey Antonelli who's pretty much the president of the 321 out here. You guys have probably seen his Sebastian Inlet fishing videos, offshore jet ski videos, and of course Pompano fishing on the beach. And today we are out here commercial fishing for whiting, croakers, Pompano, anything that we can catch. And what do you think about it Joey? I think if it swims it goes in the cooler. As long as it's not a mammal. All right. No mammals. No manatees and no birds. You heard it here first. We're gonna get right into the video. That was close still. Need uh, right past the first trough. Come on, what we got here? Croaker whiting. A little whiting. Oh yeah. Alright. Nice little whiting going in the box. Shoot. Damn, you're on again. Ugh. Yeah. This rod out, this one's already getting hit. Joey's on one already. Joey got robbed. Not the right species, but tripled up on croakers. Hey Joey, how many fish do you think we've caught today? At least three on that cast. <laughs> on that cast. We got a lot. Let me show you just a little bit about, I don't know, a couple minutes of work here. Nope. We let that one go. He's a little guy. We're going to let him go. We'll let him go. Shoot! Uh oh. I didn't look where I was letting him go. He didn't make it. Check these out guys. Nice whiting double up. Four piece McNugget! Four piece McNugget! Phew. Nice whiting. That's what we came here for today. I'll tell you what though, we are not gonna argue with some more Pompano or any Pompano. Please, if you're a Pompano, hit my line. All right, y'all see what we got. There we go, another nice stud whiting. aggressive hits all right that was a good hit and he's got some head shakes on him whatever this is I'm gonna let him take line if he wants to it's a little blue fish and a whiting Uh, 
absolutely beautiful day to be surf fishing right now. I like to see. Close, close in. I know. Somebody somewhere is getting ready to eat it. Right. As we speak. Yeah. They're there, they're hungry. Must be full. Okay. Got one on. Might have came off there, unless he's coming towards the beach. Just, just. What is that one called? This is a, a whiting. Okay. Yeah, we're right now we're, uh, we're actually working. We're selling these to the fish market. Okay. Yeah, so. Now what size can you keep? These actually have no regulation on them. Yeah. Is that a keeper then? Yeah. No yes, kidding. they are. <laughs> it's all good, man. And yeah, I do feel them on here. Look at the wind, whatever the heck it is. Woo! That's a big dog. Big dog. Double. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, we are still picking away at these fish. We got another double up. Whiting just started moving back in. So hopefully we can put in, put together a couple more for this box, and uh, we'll have a, certainly a very nice day. Hey okay, guys, when we're done with this, successful day. I'm gonna call it already. I like the rod a lot. I like the rod a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, middle rod. He got whacked, bro. He got whacked. Triple. Nice. Now that is what we need right there. Trying to grab five whiting, it's tough. Yeah. Put some fresh water and everything in there already too. Yes, sir. Yep. Feeling hard, which is crazy. So it could be either one.
was that? Is it all the way to the bottom? That? Yeah. Yeah, those are packed. God. Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just wanted to go ahead and break down exactly what y'all just watched in the video. Joey has his restricted species and his commercial saltwater products license, but we were harvesting these fish to sell them at the fish market. We brought in around 100 pounds for the day, which is not bad for about four hours of work, and we were able to make around 200 bucks for those fish. We to cover the cost of the gear, which would be our sinkers, any leader or hooks that got bent, broke, or cut, and to replenish the fish gum that we were using, right around cost maybe 20 bucks. So we're looking at a profit at around $200 for commercial fishing a couple of hours from the beach. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please definitely leave me a like and leave me a comment if you guys enjoyed seeing me fishing with joey antonelli leave a comment below thank you guys so much for your support as always and until next time i'll see you guys